What exactly is going on with this PBD West golf tournament? It's something that I've kind of glossed over from the get-go on this entire situation because I was like, whatever, it's a golf tournament. You're not going to find anything from that. That's not going to be the major expose on this completionist saga. And according to Carl Jobs' latest video, it actually kind of is. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And this PBD Golf Cup Challenge Tournament thingy that they put on that supposedly the major benefactor of it is the Open Hand Foundation, the foundation founded by Gerard's father and the Khalil family that was supposed to benefit frontal temporal dementia in honor of his late mother. According to the documents, the tax information, everything that's come through here, numbers aren't adding up. And the golf tournament itself looks to be a factor in exposing this entire fraud. I had to take a deeper look into this golf tournament after watching that video from Carl Joss because it just didn't make any sense at all, especially when you get to the year 2021. Before I go too far, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the latest article going into much more detail on this golf tournament. There's a, a lot to get to in this video, and I'm going to do my best to keep it organized. That's why I write these articles to help me with my thoughts and organizing it because it's just, without it, it's all over the place. So before we go too far in this video, let's catch up to everything we know as far as the facts of this wild drama saga between Gerard the Completionist, his entire family, and the Open Hand Foundation. First thing, despite claims of supporting various charities, the Open Hand Foundation has not distributed any of the funds received to the public yet. Still, and from my first video I said all they need to do is say, whoops, we should have done that, let's write that check now and get rid of this drama and move on from it. And they didn't do that. What they do instead, they clammed up, they didn't say anything, and now two weeks has gone by, we're getting to that point where people are like, oh, just give them time, it takes time to, to send a check somewhere. No, they weren't doing that. If they were, they would have done it already. Financial discrepancies. There's a notable mismatch between the funds of the Open Hand Foundation claiming to raise in 2019 and its actual yearly revenue, leading to doubts about its financial transparency and accountability. Those are by looking strictly at the tax documentation and then looking at what they've said they've raised. They don't align and some years they're not even close. And something that I touched on in one of my other videos with this was the unaccounted funds. If they haven't donated anywhere yet, where is that $650 plus thousand dollars? Is it just sitting in a bank account? If so, why haven't they done anything with it still? What is going on with that? And secondly, the more we look into this, the more we realize there should have been a hell of a lot more than $650,000 in that account. That's just what they reported to the IRS. And the possible fraudulent activity, ongoing financial irregularities suggesting more than just negligence or ignorance, it's believed that these issues have persisted for at least a decade, indicating a potential case of fraud that warrants investigation by the authorities. And the, the fact that Carl Jobs and Muda, some ordinary gamers, both have been directing their millions of viewers to report this. Like, that's a big deal. Because they're not like, oh, Gerard's my buddy. Let's let's see if we can resolve this amicably and move on from it. Like, let's just move on. No, this is a serious, huge issue that is going to impact a lot beyond just making another YouTube video down the road. And that's where we stand right now. Then the golf tournament thing comes up and I'm like, man, that is pretty wild if it is to be believed. And when you see the facts and the receipts, you're kind of like, well, how do you look at it a different way? That's really no other side to this story. And if there was, I'd like to think Gerard would speak up and say, no, 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 you got it all wrong. Here's the real receipts and the real reasons. And he hasn't done that. In the world of charity and philanthropy, transparency and trust are paramount. However, a closer examination of the PBD West Golf Tournament and its relationship with the Open Hand Foundation raises several questions regarding the financial reporting and the actual impact of the 
fundraising efforts. And I use that term quite loosely because their fundraising isn't actually the typical definition of what fundraising is if you're trying to match up the numbers of what they've made. As of 2015, the PBD West Golf Tournament began officially supporting the Open Hand Foundation. Publicly available tax documents from the Open Hand Foundation between 2014 and 2017 reveal a total approximate of $165,000 raised, averaging just under $42,000 per year. However, in 2019, the golf tournament reportedly raised only $14,000, which is a significant decline from the average of $42,000. Despite the same amount of sponsors or more, they're reporting a quarter of the amount of money that gets reported, which they don't report. You have to do some math in the back end to get this amount showing what they have reported to say, oh, if this is to be believed, it's only $14,000 that they actually got in 2019. But it gets even crazier than that. If you are to follow the breadcrumbs of this golf tournament, every year it goes on, they get less and less money reported to the point of in 2021, according to tax filings, if you are to take into account what was reported as far as what they've earned from IndyLand and other charities and the Jamie Lee Curtis donation and all this other stuff put in, they actually raised nothing from the golf tournament if the numbers are to be believed. So you can see where people are going with this and how it doesn't really add up. The numbers that they provided to the IRS $655,000 or so is not necessarily the accurate amount of money that they should even have in the bank account, which is why this gets even crazier. It's like the more that it goes on where they don't just resolve it, the more people are looking into this and the crazier it gets and the worse it looks. Like if they had just written a check, signed it and said, here you go, random frontal temporal dementia place that I don't even know about get off my backs i paid them off nobody would have looked any further into this and people would have just gone about their way but because they've remained silent people are doing more digging now and it's getting to look a lot worse for example just for kicks and giggles i wanted to look up what the location of the open hand foundation was i wanted to see if they even had a building you know so i looked at the irs statement the return and they have their own address here listed as 2459 west 208th street suite 100 torrance california and when i click on that i get this on google maps and it's power buying dealers which that's if you didn't make the connection that's pbd west so they're using the same address for people to mail checks to the open hand foundation to the same exact location as his father's business and if it was all on the up and up i guess i could see that as like a, oh that's a convenient thing you know he doesn't have to go to a p.o box and get the checks that are mailed it just comes to his office but the more i'm looking into this the more i'm like well if they don't even have like an office, then why are they taking out $10,000 a year for administrative expenses? Are they using that money to pay for the building? Are they using that money for other things that have nothing to do with the Open Hand Foundation, but because it's housed at the same place that PBD is, that it's getting to be uh, starting to mix the funds into one thing is completely separate than the other, but they're using them for things they shouldn't be? That's certainly what it feels like. And I feel like Carl kind of glossed over that in his video because he was focusing so much on the lack of reporting of funds instead of, well, what are they using the funds for and why don't they have a location for this charity, for this foundation? Why are they using his dad's office as the headquarters for it? And are they mixing the funds in with his dad's business right now? The situation with Gerard, the completionist dad, Charles Khalil, and his company, PBD West, which is behind the PBD West, golf tournament is really raising some eyebrows it's kind of fishy when you think about it the golf tournament used to rake in at least 40 grand on average for the charity but suddenly in 2021 they reported a big fat zero for it and that makes no sense especially when you consider charles khalil is so closely tied to both the company organizing the event 
and the foundation it's supposedly benefiting. It's a bit like something doesn't add up and it's not a great look. Because as it stands right now, it looks like they are not only not using the money for the cause that they promised it would be in all those times that Gerard was going on asking for bits and donations and subs and all these things to benefit his late mother, which they weren't. And that's like the sickest, grossest thing I could ever imagine someone doing in my entire life. But even removing that from the picture, just the fact that this guy was taking donations full well knowing that they were not going to help the cause that it was promised to help, that's something that it takes... It's like a, a it's like an evil boss. It's like an evil villain in a movie. It's like only the most evil of evil people would do that knowingly, thinking that they would get away with it. And for multiple years, upwards of over a decade at this point, they had been getting away with it. So maybe it was along the lines of they just kept pushing the envelope more and more and more. And when they realized they'd never get caught, they just didn't stop. And now we find ourselves at a place right now where Gerard the Completionist is in a whole heap of trouble. And according to Carl Jobs, he feels like he's going to be going to jail for this. And all the building evidence is kind of insurmountable. When you put it all together, none of it makes any sense at all. This golf tournament seems like it's just the tip of the iceberg and Carl even referenced that Muda, some ordinary gamers, will be putting out another video talking about other things that are going to be even crazier than this. So as far as we have it right now, the golf tournament to me is really obvious that there's a big misalignment with the funds. There's something really off right now. And if you're a viewer watching this wondering, maybe Gerard has a side to this, don't. There is no other side to this. If they either misreporting the funds purposefully or unknowingly, doesn't matter in the eyes of the IRS, you're still screwed. If you lied about it, you're really screwed. People with charity fraud, the government does not go easy on you. That's the one thing that they really focus on that you can't get away with. There are plenty of examples people have been sending me over the past few days where I'm just like, holy crap. If this is as bad as it looks, I'm not a lawyer, but I would imagine Gerard is in a whole heap of trouble. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, you stay smashing. Smash.